Hey, good morning. My name is Royal Ferris. It is August the 22nd, 2019. It is a Thursday, and this morning, I'm 60 years old. I am 60 years old today, and I got to thinking, you know, I'm 60 now. I don't know something. There ought to be something that I can just pass on to you, and it came to me immediately. Uh, what's the best thing I've ever learned in my whole life? The best thing I've ever learned. You ready? <laughs> I learned that Jesus loved me. I learned that Jesus loves me. Uh, that's the best thing. Now, for years growing up, I went to church off and on and when Lisa and I got married, she kept going to church and I went off and on. But when my daughter was a year old, I thought, you know, somebody needs to be, I need to be her dad and I need to be close to God because I need to teach her what it's like to be close to God. As her dad, that's my job. That's a responsibility. Lisa was doing that, but that's my job. I went back to church and I don't know how it happened. I don't know how it sunk in all of a sudden. I'd heard that God loved me my whole life, but all of a sudden I got it. I learned that Jesus loved me. That's the most important thing. Why? Because then I learned that because Jesus loved me, I could love anybody. Because then I learned because Jesus loved me, I could love my wife forever. I could be committed to loving her and being married to her for the rest of my life. I, I learned I learned that I learned how to love my kids better. I learned how to love anyone. I learned that I don't have to have somebody else's love because I have God's love. And I didn't have to fear giving my love away because I was fully loved, full out loved. 26 years old, I realized that. And then as, as I kept going, I realized the best thing of all the best way to go about doing life, period, is to love. You may think this is cheesy. You may think this is goofy. You may think that I'm full of it, but I'm telling you, I've had a really good life because of that. I've got a great marriage because of that. I've got great kids and grandkids because of that. I've got a job that I love. It was all because I learned that love is the best way of all. Apostle Paul wrote in 1 Corinthians 12, 31, he said, you know, you can be religious, 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 religious. But he said, but the best way of all is love. The best thing to do is love. You can, you can be religious, 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 but if you don't love others, you've gained nothing. You've gained nothing from your religion. And then in 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 7, he he gives what I call the love list, and I've taught this for years now, the love list. Listen to this. This is what love is, because love is an emotion. Jesus didn't just say emotionally that he loved us. He gave his life for us. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. It doesn't demand its own way. It's not irritable. It keeps no record of being wronged. It does not rejoice about injustice, but rejoices whenever the truth wins out. Love never gives up. Love never loses faith. It's always helpful, and love endures through every circumstance. That's the best thing I ever learned. And if I was going to pass anything on to you today on my 60th birthday, I would want you to get that. And understand that Jesus loves you so much that if you accept that love you can give that love away to anyone and not be selfish about it and not worry about having a void in your life because Jesus fills that void it's my prayer for you on my 60th birthday <laughs> let me pray father we thank you so much for how much you love us and the fact that we can love anybody with that same love. I thank you for that. I thank you for my wife. I thank you for my kids. I thank you for the love 
that you've given me that's given me the life that I've had. And I look forward to many more years living in your love and giving your love away. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. The good Lord will and the creek don't rise. Take care.